In today's video, I will be sharing with you this app, this web application that will help you to simplify your writing, your write-up, your copywriting, make it easier to understand, make it easier to read. It can help in terms of editing the grammar as well. So this has been very important software that I've been using to help edit my speeches and also some of my copy. And I'm going to share it with you in just a little bit, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ken and I help business owners to grow using digital marketing. And if you're new to this channel, this channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. And if you like this kind of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. So without further ado, let me go to my computer and show you this web and it's called Hemingway App. So let me introduce you this new, um, it's, it's not new, it's been around for a while, but let me introduce this tool called Hemingway App. Com. So what it does is it helps you um, edit your content uh, whether to make it easier to read or they'll tell you uh, it's like Grammarly but they have a lot more they have deeper insights inside this website itself. So how do you edit? So you just have to just for example you just clear whatever that's here right and then you see the readability this is this is what we are trying to aim for okay anything above nine is is hard to read for for normal people i mean no, normal readability is around eight so we always try to get the readability to be below eight so that people can understand you want your copy to be understood by many not doing some like a law jargon and things like that we are not doing it so you see as it's written here the readability grade level right even Ernest Hemingway, a famous copywriter, has scored as low as 5th grade, despite the adult audience. This just shows that what your focus is to make sure that people understand your content, not just to like show off with your bombastic words, right? So if you can get anything below 9, that's great, right? Uh, there's also a lot of things, so let me just get an example. So this is an example of my one of my speech that I gave. Uh, in Toastmasters, so in speech, I only I'm only given five to seven minutes. Uh, even when you do like stage speech or you are doing scripts or words, sometimes you have a word limit, right? And because of that, you need to know how to cut down on certain things, make things more tight, right? Uh, compared to you just babble on like like me right now babbling on. But anyway, yeah. So I just put it here. As you can see, the script for my for this this speech is readability three. Uh, I made this word actually simple to read because when I when I when I give the speech, I'll make sure that everyone understand, right? So uh, like like here, right? So what what does it mean? Okay, you see, four of six sentences are hard to read. So this 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 shows that I six, six sentences. You can see here, uh, there's there's how many letters? How rough rough reading time, right? But if you read fast, but if you speak, it's a different story, right? There's sixty six sentences and sixty three paragraph. I like to write in such a way where it's in paragraph form, especially when I do my speech. Uh, but when you want to write in terms of copy and things like that, when I put in paragraph, you will notice, especially when you have a lot of uh, sticking words, they will have increased. So uh, none of my sentences are very hard to read, which is great. Uh, that's why my readability is so low. So I uh, have simpler alternative. For example, like, okay, I worked as an engineer previously, so I can engineer before, and I have close to zero business argument, right? I still prefer previously, but okay. So I was... I was jumping into business. Sometimes you use a lot of words like really, really, or extremely. You know, I was uh, literally. So all this does not actually give, uh, like actually as well. It does not give a value to your sentences or to your to your copy. It's just something that we like to make it like hyperbolic, something to like we, we want to use it to to make people think that it's very important. Uh, whereas when you put it into writing, it's, it's not needed. Even as speech as well, right? So like you see, you can omit. Right? Yeah, actually I don't need to personalize it. I'm introvert directly, right? You see, I'm not really good. This one this is a common uh, mistake, which is even even an English speaking country, I heard it a lot. Uh, but just just to be aware, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can omit, they give you a sad, like, forceful verb, right? Passive voice. Use active voice. Active voice gives more impact because it's more direct to the audience, right? So again, forceful words. They make it very hard to read because anything with N usually N is a connector, right? So yeah, I'm like giving an English like lesson right now, but yeah. So if you possible, especially when I put N N, right? Uh, so it's like connecting three different sentences. So this this is maybe hard to read because it's long. So usually, if you want to make it more impactful and short, uh, you will put it in different sentence. Then you can omit the word N, right? Omit, omit. 
So yeah. I mean, if you go through this, you read this. This is basically part of my history, so you can just read it as well. But anyway, uh, this Hemingway app has been great for me, especially when I want to uh, prepare my speech or when I want to do a copy for a landing page or website. A lot of people that write blog posts have been using this because of the grammar capabilities and also how they measure readability because you want your audience to know how to read. I mean, not know how to read, I mean, to read it easily. So that's the reason why I think this Hemingway editor has been very important, especially once I was introduced to this, I'm just hooked into this. This is just great because it extends the capability of the free version Grammarly that I'm using, right? So this is great. And, and with that, I hope you like this. So just just try this app out. Thanks. Yep, so that's all about Hemingway app. Try using it on your own. I think it's useful, especially when you're writing. I think a lot of writers, uh, blog writers, and even speech writers are using this. I know that uh, in certain courses that I went for training on how to make videos, they do use that as a way to simplify their message, make it easier for people to understand. Especially in readability part, if I want to appeal to a general wider audience, the readability is very important and Hemingway app will help you to do that, right? If you like what I share, do give a like to this video. If any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below and, or hit me up on my social media platform, right? And if you like topics on digital marketing and entrepreneurship, do consider to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope this video is helpful to you, especially as a writer. Appreciate, uh, thanks for watching and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.